This illusion is called Feast Bravely. It was originally just going to be called Brave, but I want to respect what I put as the name when I sketched the concept. And the concept for Feast Bravely occurred to me as I was editing Make It Count. And I was sort of thinking to myself, like, do I have another dynamic figure in my, like, archive of potential? Um, I just wanted something, like, very vivid and dynamic to come to me again because it was a great feeling being able to render such a thing. Um, all the work I've done lately has been so beyond what I've ever envisioned for my art. Although I'm not the most forward-thinking in terms of my art. And besides, like, the in the moment, the concept strikes me. And I, I've said before that that's where it begins, is in my mind. I have to... It, it That's the process. It This one... Feast Bravely kind of represents a dancer with its pose. If you're going off of the legs until you get to the torso, the gaping hole is kind of hidden because the body's folding over. Um, the arm reaching, one arm is limp and the fingers are mangled. The other is carrying the limp one's weight as it also does in an effort to support the body. The body is failing. Like it's, it's almost too weak to rise or move further. It's tormented. This is the second of three paintings I did in three hours. Just cause. I washed my brushes for the first time in a year or two. I don't buy brushes because I get attached to them. Especially once I break them in. I'm bringing this up because the clean brushes are almost like new brushes. Especially because I use that Dawn that they use on the penguins. Was it the penguins? The penguins? The ducks. The oil spill birds. <laughs> the gestures and the movements that I do. Um, the brush, the clean brushes don't accommodate in the same way. So some strokes were kind of like jerky, sloppy, and I'm blaming the brushes, not my hands. That's why the eye and the torso gets away from me, you'll see. I was thinking, once again, as always, oh my god, the only thing painting to me is comparable to is puzzles. I'm probably, by now, <laughs> if you've watched my other videos, you know, I'm what you would consider a nerdy person. When I was in third grade, so like eight or nine, I became obsessed with puzzles. I would be able to finish them very quickly, no matter the size. 500 to like in the thousands. I don't know what the biggest puzzle I've done was, though. Um, that phase lasted until I was 10 or 11, in part to my dog constantly eating puzzle pieces and the lack of space to do them. At that time, I didn't know I was on. Oof. At that time, I didn't know I was on the autism spectrum. But there's something about both painting and puzzles, at least in my art style, that like really does something for my my psyche. I was never into the fidget spinner thing. I'm too old, I think. And what I do, what, what, I mean, like what would a 20-something, although people still think I'm a minor, when I went to vote, the women were skeptical of me, and that's the second time that this happened, because when I went during the pandemic to get, like, COVID shots, like the first wave, and I went with my sister, they're like, oh wait, is she old enough to do this, and at the time, I was like 22, maybe 21, so I was like, I, I don't know why people think I'm a child, <laughs> I really don't, I really like, I have tattoos, but I, I guess they're just going off of my face. I've come to think that the puzzles were a form of stemming for me. 
and I don't, it's just like the details of them. I love things that are like detailed and intricate. With puzzles, it's like everything has a place and all the puzzle pieces have pictures and I just, uh, the layers. With the painting, it's like the shape and then the construction and then the repetition of like the brushwork. If you ever catch glimpses of me in frame, I have a skin picking problem, which I think is an aspect of stimming. I'm never aware I'm doing it until I watch the footage back because it's so, it's so like automatic. I used to have a thing about cracking my wrists. I used to do that all the time in class and it really creeped out <laughs> the people I sat next to, which I'd love to do because I sat, to, uh, I sat next to a lot of annoying guys because I was like a buffer between disruptive and very talkative people, which were often male. Anyway, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guts.